Hello, y'all. I'm here looking like a Teletubby. So I'm wrapped up like this because if I feel like a cold or anything trying to come on, I wrap up to try to sweat it out just in case anything comes. And then I eat chicken soup, drink lots of tea with lemon, honey, and what else do I do? I drink OJ. But I think it's time for me, y'all. I think I'm ready to start another grow. Yay! I said that I wasn't... Now, my last grow, I did it outside. I think I started it. I started my last little grow in the house. And I think I started it around this time. I got to go check my archives. And then I transferred the plant outside. But the plant was, like, already, like, I think in flower mode by the time I put it outside. So, I brought a book, y'all. Let me, where's my book at? Hold on. I'm feeling a little achy, too, so. I don't know. I always get like this around when the seasons change. Because here in Massachusetts, the weather has been in the 80s past couple of days. So, our season is changing here. Well, the seasons are changing, so here the weather's changing. So, this is normal behavior for me to feel like this. Um, I got this book. How to grow marijuana. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm going to look at it now. Because I got it from the library. Um, I'm going to look at it. But, again, I still don't feel like I want to... I still don't feel like I want to do any um, chemicals. Like, last time I didn't do any, like, boosters or any of that stuff that they'd be doing to try to make um, the buds, like, really big or, I guess, strong or whatever that stuff is for. You know how they just put, uh, um, you know how they have the, um, what is that? The little system. Y'all know, okay, you weed growers know. You can tell I'm such an amateur. I can't even, I don't even remember. But y'all know how y'all have those tubes of the different stuff and you put in around different times. The only thing I did was I have the organic, um, I have the, um, the terp tea. And I have the, um. The grow and the bloom for that. So, I do want to try to switch up something a little different. I don't know. Because I want to make... I want to try to get an even more potent and bigger bud. Um, I was going to buy a five-gallon pot. Or, y'all know one of those little white... Y'all know the white containers I, but i don't think i even want to go i think i'm being i, I don't think i want to do all that i think i want to keep it real simple again i don't even have my light set up or anything like that anymore so i should probably hmm, i'm gonna put the seed straight in i'm not even going to um shit i'm not gonna let it um Y'all know I'm just not even forgetting. I'm just out of it right now, and I'm not even remembering the terms. But, you know, the, the sprout or whatever the term is for the seed, how uh, we put it in the warm place so it start, it's budding, you know, it's a little process, whatever. I'm not doing that this time. I think I'm going to drop that seed because I still have auto seeds. I'm going to drop it in and just let it do its thing. And then because it's kind of um warm here, I think I can put it outside, but I don't know if I want to start it inside and then transfer it outside. I don't know what I want to do, but I know I'm ready for another grow. And why, y'all say? Because I actually enjoyed smoking something that I know I made. I mean, not made. I grew, and I know that I didn't put a lot of chemicals and stuff in it. Now, were they the most biggest, potentest? Buds, no. First of all, I'm an amateur. Second of all, I'm I try to keep it as as organic as possible because that's how I wanted to smoke the weed. I just want it to be something. I want to see how it does without using all that shit. But I might change a little bit of something. I don't know. I'm gonna read this book and it'll probably give me some more tips because I again I am an amateur, but I think I'm ready to just do another grow.